What up? Tyler here from TarverAcademy.com and I've got your problem of the day. What we're going to do now is we're going to solve a multi-step equation but we're going to focus on one that has a lot of distribution. Distributing. Dis distributing. It's got a lot of distributing in it. So, I'm going to be quiet, let you pause this video, write down that equation, try it, and then I'm going to explain how to do it. So you hit resume. Ready? Go. Okay, so let's look at our equation. We've got 5 parentheses 2x plus 6 close parentheses equals negative 4 parentheses negative 5 minus 2x close parentheses plus 3x. Okay? The first thing we need to do is we need to simplify. I'm not sorry. Combine like terms. Uh, let's call it simplify. We need to simplify this side, then combine like terms. Simplify this side, then combine like terms. So I'm doing nothing to cross the equal sign yet. Okay, which means I don't have to do anything weird, anything where you're like, oh, I think you have to do the opposite of that. You're not doing any of that yet. You are just going to be solving like a regular math problem. 2 plus 2 is 4 kind of stuff. All right, let's start on the left side, shall we? Um, I'll use different colors for different sides until we're ready to combine. Okay, so like I said, this is going to focus on distributing. So whenever you have parentheses, you multiply what is kissing, French kissing those parentheses. Okay, so like you've got 8 negative uh, 8 parentheses 2, that means multiply and it's 16. Okay, so that's that's what you're doing here. If you have parentheses, you multiply whatever's touching those parentheses. Okay, so the trick is don't just multiply whatever's in the front, you multiply both. Okay, that and that. So 5 times 2x is 10x and then 5 times 6 is 30. Okay, do my equal sign. I'm getting a different color because, you know, aesthetics. All right, same thing here. I've got negative 4, and I'm going to have to distribute it here and here. The difference with this one is that's a negative 4. Do not forget to take that negative with that 4. They are best friends forever. So you will take that with it and distribute it there and distribute it there. So negative 4 times negative 5, negative times a negative equals a positive. So that's going to be positive 20. This marker is way better than this marker. Negative 4 times negative 2x, which is positive 8x. Boom. Then I just bring this down. It doesn't get distributed to because it's not in the parentheses, plus 3x. Okay, so now I've combined, I'm sorry, what was the terminology I used earlier? Just say it in your head. It sounded good. So I'm simplified. That's what I said. I simplified those. Now I need to combine like terms. Are there anything on this side that I can combine? No, because that has an x in it. On this side, there is something I can buy. There's nothing I can buy with 20, but 8x and 3x, they can be simplified. So that's 20, and then 8x plus 3x is 11x, because 8 plus 3 is 11. I'm going to keep using this marker because it's just so much better than that blue. Okay? My next step, I've combined, I've simplified, now I want to get my x's on the same side. Okay? So I'm going to get x's on the same side. I usually like to take the lower x and put it on the other side. All right, so what's lower, 10x or 11x? It's 10x. Yeah, that's right, 10x. So that's a positive 10x. Now I'm going across the equal sign. Therefore, I have to do the opposite, OK? Anytime we were doing stuff up there, we just did regular math, adding, subtracting, multiplying, dividing. Here, I have to do the opposite of whatever I'm trying to get rid of. So. Trying to get rid of 10x, it's a positive 10x. I have to subtract 10x from both sides. Now, I only apply that to one spot. I'm choosing to apply this one here, so that becomes 0. And I apply it here so I can actually do the math. I can't do 20 minus 10x because they're not the same. This one has an x in it. You can't mix PlayStation games on an Xbox. So 30, bring down the 20. Please don't forget to bring down your stuff. Everybody up might just get in a hurry and then they start having random numbers like they're choosing something from Wheel of Fortune. 10, 11x minus 10x is 1x, and it's a positive 1x. 11 minus 10 is 1, so plus 1x. Now, do I need that 1 there? What's anything times 1? Itself. So you don't have to put that 1 there. I could take that off just to make it look prettier because I don't need that 1. All right, now i got to get my x by itself. The last step to get x by itself is to get rid of that 20. Now, I'm going across the equal sign, so I have to do the opposite. It's a positive 20. I subtract 20 from both sides. I've subtracted here. That becomes 0. I've subtracted here. That is 10. So 10 equals x. 
Now, I can always check these problems. That's a good thing. If you're doing like a multiple choice test and you're like, oh, I can't remember how to work this, but you have four choices, start plugging them in into your problem and seeing if you can solve it and it works. When I put 10 in up here, it should work out to get a number over here and a number over here, and those numbers should be equal. Okay? And that's how you check it. That's all I got. Um, thank you so much for tuning in. Please go to tarveracademy.com and please subscribe, man. That'd just be really cool. Just be real cool. Cool, cool. Double cool. Bye-bye.